I personally think it's quite a brave piece for the time in how it tackles mental health and depression at, 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 in an era where, you know, I definitely think there is that sort of sentiment of traditionalist Britain, of like getting on with stuff. And I feel like for decades before that and decades after that poem, that was still very much the sentiment. And to actually stop and pause and have something artistic uh, explore um, mental health in quite a, an uncensored way is really brilliant. And I think probably indicative of why this piece is so prolific and quite unique to the time it came out. You know, back in the time where the Wastelands was, was written, there was still a very basic medical knowledge and implementation of the remedy to how you're feeling and what you should do. And actually what's quite genius is that I think, you know, him going off to Margate on a bit of a sort of retreat uh, is, is actually like something that I always really recommend to my friends. This poem feels very uh, much about how bleak one's existence can be and how hard that can be to, to overcome. And I do feel like that is not necessarily the biggest tragedy, but it's the thing that we can tackle the most. We can try to create a world or an environment for certain people who are vulnerable that is better than what they have. Like I really, really um, struggled with a really bad bout of anxiety at the very beginning of this year. And I had sort of three days in bed where I just couldn't function. And it was awful and I'd never ever had anxiety to that degree and to that extent. And it was quite sort of comforting to look on the sort of mind website and read about how the symptoms manifest and how you can catastrophize things and, and, and sort of, it was really great to be able to access something that I felt like understood what I was going through, but written in a way that was really like not necessarily clinical and scary. You know, I think that's the benefit that our generation are now going to have compared to, you know, back in the 20s when actually there wasn't a wealth of knowledge about this. And I suppose a poem like what T.S. Eliot wrote and sort of, and, you know, was widely renowned for probably gave people a lot of comfort in the same way that I think that modern day spoken word and comedy and theatre and, you know, sort of new age of like comedy dramas and sitcoms that people can watch nowadays are also tackling mental health in really frank, honest, open ways. That's why I think looking back at a poem from the 1920s is really important because you can track how we as a society have changed but we still haven't quite taken seriously the solutions and the remedies and the aftercare in the same way that we have with physical illnesses. And I think that's gonna be a really important future step for us to take.